That is probably one of the largest problems we have with any emerging technology. WMS, WCS, WES, and the differences. Joining us to talk about that today, Art Eldred, Client Executive, Systems Engineering at Vargo. Art, welcome. Hello, Russell. Thank you for having us back. It's always a pleasure. Appreciate it. All right, I suppose in a perfect world there would be a single system in the warehouse, but uh, we don't live in that world at this point. So in terms of uh, warehouse operations, when, when, when you're designing or redesigning a system, what is it that managers need to be sure they have included, what would you say? I think the single most important thing is when you're looking at these systems that grew out of one warehouse management system and the technologies and the processes that you're putting back into the warehouse is to understand fully what you're achieving in your process flows for the warehouse. The fulfillment centers are, are continuing to evolve out of just not single records of inventory or order statuses, but now work execution and the work execution really needs to be focused on synchronizing and sequencing work events. So when you start breaking down what that warehouse management system, what the warehouse WCS or warehouse control system does, we believe the warehouse execution system really can stratify across all work resources and simplify your operation, not, not make it more complex, which is where we are today. Hmm. Okay, now I want to uh, step back and talk about a WMS for just a moment. Now, let's define what that is and how that has evolved out of automation of inventory tracking. So walk us through that, what is it? So that's really interesting because warehouse management systems really started by the fundamental need to track inventory in the fulfillment or warehouse um, fulfillment centers. When you needed to track the inventory, the computer systems were able to automate that process where very, very long time, I might use um, pieces of paper and punch cards and things along those lines that were very antiquated as computers get introduced. I'm now able to take those, those pieces of paper and file them electronically and use computer systems to track inventory movement in and out of the warehouse. That evolved into more of what are my business rules? What are my inventory um, strategies? How do I track that inventory through the entire process of receiving, storing, picking, packing and shipping in an operation, and those systems kind of continued to grow and evolve into more than just warehouse management systems. They started taking on execution work. And when you take on that execution task, you end up becoming more and more complex with your architectures. Warehouse management systems at the fundamental core are your single record of inventory, your single record of business rules, as well as your single status of, of orders and, and work that's being executed in the fulfillment center. Okay, so we've established then what the uh, WMS does, what, it, uh, what it's all about. And yet there seems to be some confusion uh, between uh, what that is and the, and the warehouse control system. So let's walk through the differences there. What would you say they Absolutely. are? Absolutely, and that is probably one of the largest problems we have with any emerging technology is there are a lot of different opinions of what technologies do or do not do. And I think it's extremely important not to make those lines gray, but to actually thoroughly define what a warehouse management system does, what a warehouse execution system does, and what a warehouse control system does. So a warehouse control system, at the lower level, does a really, really beautiful job of controlling machinery. It looks at scanners, it looks at divert points, it looks at solenoids. It has to happen, it has to occur. What, when we ask those warehouse control system works, uh, systems, to perform more business order status and inventory work, now we're starting to get a little bit of gray. So if we can keep machine control in a warehouse control system, we've simplified that layer of work inside the fulfillment center. A warehouse management system is just as we discussed, single record of inventory, single record of business rules, as well as your single uh, viewport into your order statuses. What we fundamentally want to do is define a warehouse execution system just as the word says it. It's an execution system. So what it's doing is it's synchronizing and sequencing work events throughout the operation. It may have knowledge of inventory, but it's not the single record of inventory. So we may act upon inventory and we'll shadow the work that's back and forth. But if I can say, are my printing labels? Am I doing inventory tracking? And, and someone says yes, that's not a warehouse execution system. Execution systems flow work and fulfillment processes inside the operation. Very, very important to define what that is. Mm -hmm. And yet the WES did evolve out of the WMS and WCS world, if you will. 
and Absolutely. yet crucial, crucial differences. Absolutely, so one of the biggest differences on a warehouse execution system is that it, is, it has the ability to synchronize and sequence work events through all resources, and a resource in a fulfillment center is not just the persons or the people doing the work, but it's also the machines. It's very difficult for an inventory system to know that I have an empty divert on my shipping dock, and what should I introduce as the next set of work to fill that shipping dock? Well, because it's not tied to the machines, it doesn't know that there are 10 cartons on it versus a capacity of 100. Warehouse execution systems stratify across that warehouse, making it much more simplified, so now I can look at that shipping dock and say, what delivery point is that going to, and can I introduce more work into the picking process for that? One of the other things that we look at in a warehouse execution system is the, the, the complexity of the technology stack in the fulfillment center. The upgrade paths for warehouse management systems are extremely complex. You involve an awful lot of work resources to just spin up the, the migration from one version to the next version. If we take that execution task where most of the complexity of WMSs exists and we put it into that warehouse execution system, we've now fundamentally given you a very easy architecture that now I can upgrade from one version to the next version or I can migrate from one manufacturer of, of WMS systems to another and the business rules and the execution say stratified underneath with machine and resources. Mm -hmm. Well, going forward then, uh, is it possible to say that we're going to get to this perfect state where in fact, all of the capabilities of the three uh, uh, separate but very complex systems are in fact integrated into one system? I truly believe that the one system um, of inventory works. And if we kind of think of the warehouse brain, there are three different areas of your brain. One does cognitive thinking, one does motion motor skills, another one may change balance. That same type of philosophy will then apply to how IT technology stacks are implemented. We'll have systems that are the cognitive thinking, we'll have one that are the machine controls that might be beating your heart or turning conveyors on and off, and another one that's actually just maintaining balance in the warehouse. So I believe if we follow what God kind of gave us in our, in our brains and we implement that same strategy in our technology stack, it becomes a lot more simplified operation. The other thing that's very interesting is the evolution of technology in the fulfillment center is so important, more important than ever before, because labor is getting more and more difficult. Quality labor and labor at the right times being that November, December peak periods. So the evolution of technology, whether it's robots or uh, AGVs or storage and retrieval systems that are fully automated and do not involve human interaction, now can be implemented underneath the WES without putting your WMS at any type of risk with the modifications or the work into the upgrade pass. And you now keep it stratified at the machine layer and again, simplifying the operation. Decoupled is probably the best approach that we would recommend. Well, what I'm hearing is vive la difference. That's a, it's a great overview, great look at the differences in, in these very important systems. Art, you're busy here, but you found time to walk us through that. I appreciate that, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure, Russell. Thank you so much for having us back. We'll see you again. That's Art Eldred, Bargo, speaking with us today about the differences in your WMS, WCS, and the WES. Thank you for watching.